So earlier this week, I did a comparison between Exynos 7904 and Snapdragon 660, which is a quite popular chipset in Snapdragon 600 series. One of the most popular chipset in Snapdragon 600 series is Snapdragon 625, which still many manufacturers are using in their devices. So as a buyer, it becomes very confusing whether they should go for a Snapdragon 625 powered device or Samsung Exynos 7904. So I decided to do a comparison of both of these chipsets, so let's get started. Starting with CPU first, the Exynos 7904 is built on 14nm FinFit process, it is a 64-bit chipset, Samsung has used a custom CPU architecture in this chipset. It is an octa-core processor in which two cores are Cortex A73 based with maximum clock speed of 1.8 GHz, those two cores are powerful ones for handling heavy tasks. Other 6 cores are Cortex A53 based clocked at 1.6 GHz. All the low end cores are perfect for doing web browsing, making calls, etc. On the other hand, the Snapdragon 625 is also built on 14nm FinFit process. It's also a 64 bit chipset. The Snapdragon 625 is also an octa core chipset, but all the cores are Cortex A53 based with a maximum clock speed of 2.0 GHz. This chipset was launched way back in 2016 when more powerful cores are not used in a mid range chipset. So only one thing that is going into Snapdragon 625 favor is clock speed. Other than that, two Cortex A73 cores in Exynos 7904 can easily defeat the Snapdragon 625. Coming to GPU, the Samsung Exynos 7904 has Mali G71 MP2, which is a newer GPU from Mali. On the other hand, the Snapdragon 625 GPU is Adreno 506 that is older. Without testing the devices powered by both the GPU, I cannot confirm anything but as per my knowledge, the Mali G71 MP2 can beat the Adreno 506. The Exynos 7904's ISP supports up to 32 megapixel single camera. It has also support for triple camera setup. The company is claiming that the third camera can be introduced for ultra wide angle shots and panoramas. On the other hand, the Snapdragon 625 can support up to 24 megapixel single camera. However, it is not clearly mentioned about the dual camera support by Qualcomm. The Exynos 7904 can support LPDDR4X RAM and EMMC 5.1 base storage. On the other hand, the Snapdragon 625 can only support LPDDR3 RAM and for storage, EMMC 5.1 support is given. So here Exynos 7904 is clear winner. The smartphone powered by Snapdragon 625 can only have LPDDR3 RAM while the Exynos ones can use LPDDR4X RAM. Connectivity wise, Exynos 7904 has Wi-Fi 802.11 AC, Bluetooth 5.0, FM radio, GPS and LTE CAT 12 modem with up to 600 Mbps of download speed and 150 Mbps of upload speed. On the other hand, the Snapdragon 625 also have Wi-Fi 802.11 AC, Bluetooth 4.0, FM radio, GPS support, it has X9 LTE modem that can use LTE CAT7 to give a download speed of up to 300 Mbps and upload speed of 150 Mbps. So in terms of connectivity, the Exynos 7904 can beat Snapdragon 625 easily. So now we are at the end of this comparison. In the whole comparison, Samsung Exynos is taking lead almost in every segment. The Exynos 7904 has two powerful Cortex A73 cores more powerful GPU. In terms of camera support, it can support triple camera setup and 32 megapixel single camera. It's also able to support LPDDR4X RAM and more connectivity options, including more powerful modem with high download speed is given too. So you can easily understand who is better in both of them. The Snapdragon 625 is outdated, so it cannot match Exynos 7904 in any manner. You can easily go for Exynos 7904 over Snapdragon 625. So guys, that was a quick comparison between Exynos 7904 and Snapdragon 625. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. And hey, if you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for stay updated about latest tech and gadgets. Thanks for watching.